In this video, we're going to draw a cube and shade with charcoal. Think about your placement of your cube. Think about the rule of thirds. Draw your cube. Think about your perspective. Then, think about where you want your table line to be. It doesn't have to go straight across. It can be at an angle to divide up the background. Next, you're going to use vine charcoal. Think about the edge. When you're on the vertice, the edge of the cube, you're shading. That should be your highest contrast, where the side meets the other side, the face meets the face. Every line on the cube, or any form, should have a light and a dark side to it. Think about where you want that light to be planning out. As you need to stop this video to work on your cube a while and then start again, you can do that. Now I'm going to start blending, pulling the color away from that edge, gradually trying to create a value scale, making that cube try and look like it's three-dimensional. With the compressed charcoal, that's this rectangular charcoal, I'm going to really sharpen the edge up, but I don't want it to look outlined. I'm going to pull some of that out, but that just helps add that last darkest value. Remember, be careful with the compressed charcoal. It doesn't erase real well, so know exactly where you want it when you're ready for it. Blending out on the edges. You keep a wet paper towel, clean your fingers as you need to. You may want a paper towel to cover up part of your drawing while you work, just to keep the fingerprints off of it. You have two erasers. The pink eraser is to clean up big areas away from your object. Erase and then rub the eraser crumbs a little bit. And then you can um, get those off of there. The kneaded eraser, it's for lifting little areas that you can't quite get with the pink eraser. If you try and rub the eraser crumbs, you'll smear your drawing. So with the kneaded eraser, you can just do lifting of some of the color. Try and avoid erasing big areas. They're just to take off little smudges. Clean your eraser by kneading it. That's why it's called a kneaded eraser. And then finish up on your shading of your form. When your form is finished, then you're going to start working on your table. I like to put it darker where the, the form is light and lighter where the form is dark. That just helps pop it out. But I also have to remember that I have a table and that the table also needs to stand out from the wall. So I'm using a little compressed charcoal because I know I want this corner of the cube to really pop out because it's the closest to me. So I made that darker with the compressed charcoal. Now I'm going to take some vine charcoal, the round one, and layer some of that. And I'm going to put some of this up on the wall. Notice I'm going at a different angle or direction with my coloring. That also will make help make things stand out. Smearing close not to get it on my form. And continue working on your background until your form is popping out. Okay, now we are going to finish up the back half of the table. I'm not going to have it quite as dark because in the distance things appear to be not as high contrast. And I'm going to darken my cube just a little more to make sure that it pops from the table. And then continue blending and smearing with the vine charcoal to create the finished project. Okay, and then the last little touches, just check it over, making sure you're getting all the areas that you want dark. And I'm going to put just a little bit of color in the rest of the background to make it look like it's part of the drawing, not just in this um, empty space. And smear that just a little bit. And then at the end, you may want to take your eraser and clean up just a little bit. Remember your kneaded eraser will help little areas 
under my fingers if I had a paper towel that would help keep smudges from getting on there and I'm just blending just a little more to create my cube in charcoal. If you chose this form, get started and enjoy.